All right, so what does it mean to be computer adaptive? Well, a computer adaptive test is one that responds to your performance over time. So on this test, we go from question one to question 31 on the quant side, for example. And the difficulty can range from really hard to pretty easy. And so what a computer adaptive test will do is they'll start you off somewhere in the middle and then they'll kind of toss example questions at you of different difficulty levels and they'll measure how you perform on those difficulties. And as it starts to learn about how you perform, it'll start to assign you questions similar to those questions that you are getting 50% uh, chance of getting right or wrong. So let's say that you start off with a medium question. You get it right, they bounce you up to a hard. You get it wrong, they bounce you down to an easy. You get it right, they bounce you up a little bit. You get it right, they bounce you up a little bit. You get it right, they bounce you up a little bit more. You get it wrong, they bounce you down a little bit. And the goal is through time, these movements will get smaller and smaller as they narrow in on exactly how well you perform by feeding you questions that are just slightly above or slightly below your difficulty level. And when you finish the test, you'll be at some level that marks uh, basically the percentile rank or uh, difficulty level that represents you as a test taker on that section of the test. So maybe you get to the end of the quant section and you're in the medium hard range and they rank you a 46. So that's a great score and you can work your way up there like we, sh like we see here. Um, you could also start off hot and then throughout the rest of the test, if you start to lose some steam at the end, work your way down. So there's multiple ways of getting the same score. Uh, as a basis, I'd say the most important thing is to set a high floor. This, don't worry about the ceiling because getting easy questions wrong will prevent you from seeing harder questions. Getting hard questions wrong won't really hurt you. Um, a lot of people get hard questions wrong. Very few people can get the hard questions right. And that's why we say that you can get up to 10 questions wrong on the quant and still get a fantastic score. They just have to be the 10 hardest questions on the quant. Um, and also, you don't know out of the gate if they're giving you easier hard questions. And you might actually see the hardest question of your entire test as question one, two, or three, because they might just throw you a super hard question um, to see if you can answer it correctly, the algorithm, not like a person controlling the computer. Um, and then try to learn from that information. Out of the gate, the computer has no idea who you are as a test taker. It's trying to learn from information. And it's just trying to collect information by kind of throwing you random questions of varying difficulty and seeing how you perform on those.